Welcome, friends. This is Archangel with another installment of Male Greatness. So the article begins. 19-year-old Miguel Angel Palacios could not stand to see animals hurt. The young man volunteered at a local animal shelter in Colombia, where his family lives, and rescued abandoned dogs that he found in the streets. His friends knew him as an advocate for animals in need, and he worked with animal welfare groups for the betterment of animals and to help find homeless dogs homes. At just 15, he canvassed his neighborhood to collect funds for Corporación Canes Perdidos. A few weeks ago, Miguel passed away after defending a small dog from harm. Miguel studied in Miami and was visiting his family when his brother, Juan Pablo, noticed that a neighbor, who had been drinking all night, was assaulting a dog early Sunday morning. The man, Jesus Antonio Brown, was shouting that he planned to cut the neck of the dog with a machete. According to a police report, Juan Pablo screamed and pushed the man away, but the man became aggressive. Juan Pablo ran to tell his brother, and the two again attempted to rescue the dog, but the man violently attacked them with a machete. Miguel was seriously hurt, and his brother rushed him to the hospital. All men suffered lacerations, but Miguel suffered a fracture to his skull and injuries to his heart and lung. Sadly, he passed away from his wounds the next day. Brown was later arrested and now faces criminal charges. Further down, it states, the small dog that Miguel and his brother defended was not owned by Brown, but was owned by Albiro Cortez, and his name was Jerry. Albiro had decided to give Jerry to Miguel's mother, Lena Marie Montoya. He said it was a difficult decision, but he thought of the pain the family was going through and felt that giving Jerry to the family is the right thing to do. He told El Tiempo, I am very fond of Jerry. He is a loving dog, but I understand how difficult this must be for Miguel's family. I know that Jerry will help them remember Miguel and help them heal. Plans are now underway to establish an animal rescue foundation in Miguel's honor. 25 animal rescue groups are working together to help Lena create a foundation to be named Miguel Angel's Ark. Wow, okay, so what an amazing young man. At 15, when most kids are busy texting or deciding what car they want daddy to buy them next year, this teen was out canvassing the neighborhoods in Colombia for money to help animals. Yeah, Colombia, where money is scarce and drug lords run everything. He was out trying to get money to help animals. Now, in this case, we have two examples of greatness. According to the article, first, it is Juan that intervenes. He sees this drunken guy getting abusive and threatening to cut this little dog's throat. So, what does he do? He does what great males do. He intervenes to protect the little dog. Then, he fetches his brother, Miguel, who was visiting them on leave from his studies in Miami. Then these two men return to save the little dog, and the guy attacks them with a machete. A machete? Really? These two individuals had their lives ahead of them, and rather than think of self-preservation or their own futures, these two men sought the welfare of an animal. They could have simply called the cops, but no, they demonstrated caring for another being, and they were rewarded with a machete attack from a drunken idiot. This is male greatness. Miguel cared enough about the welfare of another that he demonstrated this caring to the tune of a fractured skull and a heart and lung intrusion which claimed his life. This is male altruism and benevolence. While we are busy demeaning male life and slandering male beauty, while feminists are busy taking people to court who disagree with them on Twitter, while actresses are busy lobbying the UN for more female entitlement, while male genitalia is being cut, while males are extorted in family courts, and female criminals walk because, well, they're female, while all this madness is going on in this male abusive gynocentric world, it is males that still offer hope. Despite all the misandry, males continue to demonstrate their greatness to the very world that hates them. Male greatness happens every day, and most will never know about it. Well, we here at Liberation Y want people to know about it, and it is to be celebrated. This world exists because of such male greatness. Makeup and heels on a female? This is not beauty. Beauty is the act of these two males. And I seem to observe the most beautiful members of humanity occupy male bodies. 
Males want to worship females because they have superficial cuteness, aesthetic beauty which will only fade and fade quickly to reveal the ugliness of the selfish soul beneath it. Well, if we worship beauty, then we should worship males because they have soul beauty and that does not fade. Males are beautiful because they are great. My friends, stand with me, live free.